So, yo, what's up, Mike? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? How are you? I'm not good, bro. No. Moving on. Moving on. Yeah. Don't care to ask why. Um, yeah, no. Oh, well, since you asked, um, I'm having irregular bowels these days. Um, it's not my normal five and one. I'm only doing it twice, so I'm kind of concerned that I need to go see like a gastrologist or something. That's Thank that's you. the first thing. Thank you. Yeah. Moving on. Want to know more? No. Nah. When I pee, there's a kind of a amber smell to it. Um, could be the amber that I ate the other night, thinking it was chocolate chips, but it's about it. Well, want to know more? A good, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. Good. Um, well, you let me know. I'm here. I will. I will. So. I think we probably just jump right into it. We're going to talk about movies, uh, some news, information, things of that sort. First, I want to talk about Easy Rider. You know the classic movie Easy Rider? Never heard of it. You know I love that movie, right? Yeah. Do you remember what I was like in high school with Easy Rider? No. Do you remember? No. Me. No, you know. I just I was in love with it. I showed it to okay. everybody. I mean, that's Jack Nicholson. I just show I would show it to everybody. Oh, That's okay. how much right. I loved the movie. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, you guys yeah. got to see this movie, Easy right. Rider. Like, Apocalypse was... Now is the movie you introduced me to. I introduced you to a lot of movies, bro. Let's be real. Enter the Void is the only other one I remember. Let's be real. I, I, I've, I've probably seen every good random, movie you've ever seen. I've probably seen more random Hollywood classics than you have because of my father. I've yeah, probably seen sure. a shit like, ton like, of like, like Bing Crosby and Bob Hope's The Road to Rio. You know sure. what I mean? Like, no, you didn't even know what all quiet on the Western front was. Oh, uh, yeah. Jesus, bro. You also introduced me to that old original Aladdin movie. Yeah, yeah. Things like that. What was that one called? 1940s. Yeah, what was that no, made? That, that, was, that was like 1910s. Yeah, yeah, that, was, yeah, yeah. that one's old. Yeah. Um. Okay, so anyways, Easy Rider. I love it. Right. It's a great film. They're doing a remake. What? They're doing a remake of Easy Rider. That's so stupid. I just... So wha- stupid. Ah, Why are they going to fuck? Just come up with original fucking ideas, So man. this is the thing. Are there no... What is going on? What is going on in culture that no one... I mean, people have original ideas. No one wants to make them. Remember in the 90s, every movie was an original idea. Everything was a brand new movie, brand new concept, original. Now, nothing is original. It is a remake, a yeah. prequel, a spinoff. Right. 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 So what the heck is going on? Well, isn't it that they're afraid to take chances because of money, right? Because they know now they just want the sure thing. The, the prequels, sequels, remakes, these are proven IPs, right, that, that they know will make money. The blockbusters. But my, my thing is, what changed? It was always a money-making business. So money's always, always been involved. What was always, in, what was always a money-making business? Hollywood. What do you mean? Movies. But, but what are you talking about? That What you just said makes absolutely no sense. What do you mean what, what changed? I just said, they, found, well, they found a better way to guarantee making money. Okay. Okay. That's what changed. Right. Okay. What I mean... Why do you do this? What I said made perfect sense. I'm saying they're doing this because they're guaranteed to make money. Okay. Um, what what happened? Why suddenly are they doing it this way after all of these years? It, it always, I'm saying money was always involved in Hollywood. It wasn't like, oh, they just did it for the love. Any movie. We don't care. We're not about making money. Money and bottom lines don't matter. It was matter. always about making money. Absolutely. Right. So then why suddenly has it become more about that than the the content than than the films and the stories i don't know man i mean look i think over time systems get refined right so the system of hollywood got refined over time and they recognized hey it's better to use pre-existing ip to do this stuff you know what i mean so that happened um that's just an evolution of the business but i don't care about that to me it's absolutely atrocious that they're remaking a movie like Easy Rider. And here's the other question. Okay, Marvel, you know, Iron Man, Batman, 
which by the way, I love all things Batman. So I have no complaints about them continuously making Batman movies because they also do it well. It's a great, it's a great franchise. And it's okay to do that once in a while. But now everything, Black Adam and the the horseless uh headhunter. I mean, just like it's just all this idea. Horseless headhunter. What's this I know, I'm making stuff up. I'm making stuff up. Bro, 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 but backpedal on this. We might that be on might be something. A dope idea. We might be on something. But Easy Rider. Who cares about Easy Rider? I mean, what target audience are they going after for Easy Rider? That's my question. Okay, millennials don't even know who Michael Jackson is anymore, right? Like they they just this like is a older, I just went of, to that. This is a generation of young people, especially Gen Z. They don't know the old things. Fucking young kids these they days. They don't, dude. It's not like us. When when we were young, we knew the old things. We watched old movies. We listened to old music. They don't we do that did. anymore. I did. Not everyone did. Really? It's always a thing. You know, generations are always like the older generation looks down on the newer generation with their music. Is that a thing? Opinion. Is that a thing, or am or am I am I onto something here? Because I, I I've believed this for a while no, that no, no, this no. generation, the young people, Gen Z specifically, and the younger millennials, they do not go back to the past and consume art media the way that we used to. And I think it's because they have an abundance of content thrown mm, constantly. Point. And then it's this the the algorithm world where things are constantly put in front of them, new, new, so, new. And everyone's on this hamster wheel of the new, the new. And I no see. one takes the time to go back and yeah. and and look at what's back. Dude, I, I'm telling you, you I'm sorry. I'll like, hold on, I'll let you I'll, I'll let you speak in a second. I just want to finish this. I'm telling you, the amount of young people that I've met that do not know who the legends are from back in the day that have not seen the great movies, movies like The Godfather or Breakfast at Tiffany's or any of these classic films or know these classic. I mean, I don't want to pin peel. I mean, we were talking with someone the other day to know who Marlon Brando was. Yep. Do you remember that? No, no I can't you, say You that. embarrassed? I'm not going to say that. Are you embarrassed? So it's crazy. It's crazy. I think it's a big thing. If you don't know who Marlon Brando is, please comment below so we can shame you publicly. No, I'm joking. But please comment below. I want to know if this is a thing or not. All right. Look, here. I think it's complicated as everything else is. It's not black and white. I think. All right. Let me first say one side of it. One side of it, I think you are in a, in a bit of um an old person denial bubble as we all do where things change and we're like what's up with these kids anymore why don't they like what i like this this is the way of the world right and we're just now in our you know mid to late 30s becoming what they call adults uh, here's let me finish let me finish because this is it right because i know as a kid believe me not everyone knew about the oldies none of my friends did none of my friends did um and it depends on the genre so then you have people who are just like all right i like movies you're a movie guy there are people who like movies are my thing and maybe those kids would know a lot about the oldies but maybe those kids won't know a lot about the oldies of music because they're not into music but the kids who are into music know the oldies of music. you know so it, it, it's it's not black and white that like there's just a, bl a blanket over knowing all about the oldies of every topic. So that's one thing. So you're just very much in this, I'm a filmmaker bubble. You've been since your whole life. It's so not even it. film. It's even music sports. as well. It's music as music, well. Music, sports, it doesn't matter. What I'm saying is anything in life, art, you've got to first off be into it to really care about the history of it, okay? You do, you do. So you got to step outside what you like in life. You specifically, Cameron, of like, I'm a filmmaker. I'm into art. I'm into this and that. But it's not about that. that. Listen, I, I'm going to cut you off because you're saying this. No, 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 no. Let me finish my second point. It, it is definitely about that because you're wrong if you think that. All right, go to the second generation, point. All kids knew about the past movies. They got don't. It. I could bring all, right. all my friends. Second I want to respond to this. Please get to I do point. think you're right, though. There is a point that more content these days makes it harder to know about the oldest because without a doubt you're sitting at home and you don't have a thousand things to watch in one day and an oldie comes on and it's like i have no choice but to watch this like when we only had two or three channels right when we were younger 
and forced to see things from the past because there wasn't as much content. So you do have a point with that. That's that's what I was going to say. Look, I am not holding it against young people for not knowing who, you know, Jean-Pierre Melville is, right? Or not having had watched sure. the exactly. Lone Lone Samurai and Cub film franchise, right? There, There's a certain niche and then there's, you know, there's certain things that film lovers within the film world and same with music, right? There's like certain niches within music that I don't expect you to know. But when it comes to classics and legends, okay, there are young people who don't know who Prince is, okay? They don't know. They didn't listen to Prince. They I never listened Prince. to Prince. You listened to Prince. You know who he is. You I know knew who he was. You've heard Purple Rain. You know who he is. Barely you more. know who Prince is. You know heard his songs. I also was a, I was also was alive when he was at his heyday, so that's a thing. He was on the fucking radio because I'm 36, and he was he was making new songs when I was alive as a kid. Homeboy's dead right now, and there are kids who are just coming into their teenage years. Why would they know Purple Rain? You got to look at it. It's not all. It's it. This is a way. When, of I, when I was young, I knew artists who had died. I knew of them. And I had experienced their work because the media landscape back then gave it to me and I consumed it. These kids are not receiving this stuff anywhere and they don't seek it out. Now, yes, maybe I seek, I, whatever the seeked it or I sought it out. So you soaked it out. I soaked it out. Maybe I sought it out more than others personally, right? For whatever reason. Sure. Maybe I did because I was I really got into, you know, classic rock and then learning about and listening to, you know, Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin. Yeah, you just were like, a weird kid. So much great. No, dude, everyone knows classic rock. Everyone. Knows I didn't know classic. Pink Floyd. I remember walking around the hallways seeing Matt Jellison wearing fucking Pink Floyd and Stones and not Stones, uh, whatever the fuck the other bands are. I'm like, what are these things? All I knew about was. Freestyle music, CNC music factory. I mean, like, that's the only shit I knew, man. I knew what I was raised around. It was the subculture I was. Well, yeah, well, that's correct. You know what you're raised around. And and there's a whole generation of kids that are raised around an algorithm. And the algorithm is not showing them anything from the past. So I think my hypothesis is correct. I think that this younger generation does not explore past media and past art the way that we did on whole. I don't think they do. Uh, I would love to know if there's a study about this somewhere. I'm going to do a little bit of research and see if there is anything, maybe. But if there isn't, this is going to become my life's purpose. I'm going all in. I'm studying this. I'm starting a foundation. No, no, no. Okay. We're, yeah. we're going to need grant money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to need donations. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. We're going to need scientists and thinkers, I'm great to thinkers. Little, starting to see a little breakdown happening here. From man. all you over the right? world to, to kind of look into this and see and what's going on. going on in your eyeballs. You need to see what's going on. So anyways, the Easy Rider remake. Also, <laughs> why? Why? Does Easy any writer? I'm not going to watch it. The you thing know what is, I mean? You, like I'm the target things, audience. I'm the guy who saw it. Some things, some things remakes, leave it alone. It was perfect. Sometimes remakes are like, you could do it. Like I actually think, I actually think, and I know that for a long time they were talking about it. I don't know what's ever happened. I think they should remake Warriors because I think the concept is way better than the execution of it. Right. I think it was poorly executed. It wasn't a lot of money. It was shitty acting. It was like this, yeah. you know, sure, like I Mad think Max. They, could, they could crush it. Right. Like, like Mad Max. Some things it's like good because they didn't do it well. Other things it's like, why are you going to remake Wizard of Us? You know, why are you going to remake Easy Rider? Because Easy Rider was only good because of the way it was done, how it became to be the story behind the story. Right. The. The, the independent also, also also what the hell is the movie going to be about are you going to recreate the 1960s and just tell the story of two men riding motorcycles through the 1960s Only relevant at that right? point in time. now i mean or are you gonna are they gonna modern day it where they're just gonna be on their motorcycles like this the whole time <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like with like you know, the motorcycles driving himself and they're just yeah yeah by the way, that yeah. movie is not like very PC in today's standards. You know what I mean? So like, oh, how is oh, that going to work? I'm sure uh, they'll figure that part out. 
Yeah, by absolutely destroying what the movie is. I'm so like it's I don't know. Stupid. Like it's it's like when they tried to make a like the Three Stooges movie. I was like the Three Stooges were only good because they were the actual Three Stooges. Right. The three talented men who are dead now. It right. wasn't them playing these characters yeah. that made it good. Anyone yeah. could hit them. It was be- like we're gonna remake Charlie Chaplin movies. No, 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 no. Yeah, Charlie yeah. Chaplin was exactly. the movie. Exactly. 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 Without him, you can't remake it. Yeah. It was his talent that made that movie. Right. Right. You got to know what you're remaking. Yeah. You got to know what you're. You got to know what you're remaking. I agree with you. There, there are some things you can remake. Mad Max. What an amazing. It's not really even a remake. I was like, I wouldn't work. Whatever happened? I thought they were going to be making more of those. I, I mean, look, COVID probably just shut everything down for a long time. Who knows? A movie like that's big too. I don't know. Maybe it'll be like a Avatar thing. It'll take twenty years. years later. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. Next topic: Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Did you watch it yet? I'm sorry. Who? Guillermo del Toro. You don't know who Guillermo del Toro is. Guillermo. Am I saying okay. wrong? Gil Guillermo. No, no, no. By all means. What did I say? I said Guillermo. Guillermo. What did I say? Oh, Gu- Guillermo. Guillermo. How do you Guillermo. say it? Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo. 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 You don't even have to say it with the Spanish, man. But it's not Guillermo for sure. Gu- Guillermo. Gu- yeah. How do you say it? Well, now I fucked myself up. I <laughs> Gu- well, Gu- Gu- his Gu- new Gu- Pinocchio is fantastic. Where'd you watch it? It's on Netflix? I couldn't find it. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Well, I couldn't find it. Man. Excellent. Yeah. I'm such a fan of this guy's work. Yeah, yeah. He just, he tells, he's Gu- the best teller of fantasy and fairy tale alive. It, yeah. yeah. You true. know, like that, that tradition of just like a fable. He does that so well. It's really yeah. incredible. Um, I, see it, yeah. I am surprised that Disney has not hired him full time and just said, you oversee our story. Because he's doing – look, look, not to take away from Pixar. Pixar also crushes, right? Pixar for a long time has been really fantastic in telling animated, universal, for children and adult stories – um and 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 del toro's movies are certainly a little bit more adult themed in many ways they're dark they can be dark and they can really play that but like a lot of early disney films did that as well yeah. you know snow white did that cinderella did that bambi did that you know they re- dealt with hard themes and they were they weren't they weren't like easy um where i think a lot of stuff now is like really really easy but Pinocchio was fantastic. Stop motion animation. Stop motion animation just blows my mind when mm. I watch it because it's it just it's so much work to do. Describe it's such a skill to people out there who don't understand what stop motion animation is. Mike, do you know what stop motion animation is? Of course I do. All right. Well, they why don't, don't you why don't you explain it then? Oh, Cameron, I wouldn't take that pleasure away from you. you <laughs> love to explain things to people so much. I really about, like play, like stop. They have to move the arm again. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Arm. All right. I just want to make sure you knew. Yeah, that's what it is. It's where they work with little clay figures. And Google, right here, and they move. Yo, that blows my mind. I don't know, like the patience that they have. Those and guys. You, and and when I'm you're like, <laughs> like, all right, Charlie. So uh, you know. You know the storyboard what needs to be done by tomorrow. We'll uh let's, let's see in the AM. And this guy all night's like oh, fucking shit. <laughs> like, losing his mind, like kind of fuck. like the minute detail. Everything. Everything. The guy's life is anything, just going. Yeah. Anything moving in the frame. Anything moving in the frame. 24 times yeah. a second. Yeah. Yeah. 24 times a second. <laughs> That's how many frames there are in a second. You have to do 24. it 24 times to achieve a second. To I believe that's 144 a times a minute. Impressed by my math? I mean, holy shit. Wow. The guy must be on meth who was yeah, doing yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, hey uh, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Uh, so just got a call from Del Toro. Listen, he's uh, furious. He's yeah. furious right now. Says we're really behind schedule. He's like, look, just wrap this thing up. He's like, we need to deliver to Netflix immediately. Yeah. So if you could just go ahead and bang out the final 30 minutes of the movie over the course of the weekend, uh-huh. that'd, be, that'd be great. All right. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you're going to lose your job. I'm on it, boss. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, there is let's no get way. Work. You cannot. <laughs> I mean, it has to be a method. The, yeah, the, yeah. You the have attention to, to crack absurd no. detail. Yeah. I mean, it can only be done by a cracker. Yeah, they're smoking. Guys, they're I using mean, a lot of drugs. Fucking nuts! What must speed? Be. I would lose it, bro. I'd be dead. I would just... yeah. Dude, insane. So, anyways, it's a fantastic film. I recommend you watching it. Is it um, worth it? Is stop great. animation really worth the trouble? It, you know, it is. It's an art form. It's a beautiful how, art form. It, how, much more, it, how much does it cost? It must cost so much more, right? Costs a lot of money. Costs All a lot. The of time money. it takes. Time is money. But you know, it really, it really is an art. Like when you watch these characters when it's done well, they're so expressive. You know, and it's it's really interesting because it's like an artist who can draw something and you can get emotion from it. These mm. artists, the really good stop motion animation artists, they're they're really giving you an emotion with their hands, with what they do, the way they sculpt, you know, and the way these characters operate and move in the faces and like the story. When you're watching and it, it, it when it works, it's so engaging and beautiful and great. And it's really it really just is an incredible talent. It's like puppetry, you know. Could you it's see like Pinocchio? Did you just tell a lie? No. You sure? Yeah. Why isn't your nose growing? Oh, uh, yeah, we couldn't afford any more. <laughs> like, his nose only goes out this much due to budget, budgetary restrictions. Yeah. yeah um, so anyways, really good. I recommend yeah, it. Cool. I'll check it out. Um, I'll check that out. And speaking of checking out, I had you watch the trailer to 65. Uh, yes, yes. Before this. Before we'll this end on this topic. Okay. Um I want to know what you thought, and then I'll I'll talk I'll say what I thought. I want to I want to know if we had the same thought. Let me just say this: sixty five is a new film. Sam Raimi's producing. It's the writers of A Quiet Place, great movie, starring Adam Driver. Trailer just dropped today. Michael, what did you think of the trailer? All right, so trailers and movies are different, right? And it's like the trailer was all right. It was all right. I mean, it looks basically like a, a vehicle for Adam Driver to become a new kind of action hero kind of guy. Um, I like Adam Driver. Um, so, you know, but I'm not really sure. You know, I always love space movies. Like it started and I was like, oh, cool. Space movies. I, I did there for me. It's like World War II movies. There's never enough of them. Like, I love them personally because it's the unknown. It's like, oh, what? you know, but then, then again, the imagination has to live up to it. It's like, what new can you show me? And it's like, all right, you just landed on a planet with 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 dinosaurs. All right. It's like aliens meets Jurassic Park, I suppose. Um, And then it just kind of got, I was like, all right, I feel like this is just going to be an action film. Um, And that's it. But one yeah. thing I had, I was like, it could be dope because at first I was like, wait a second, is this someone like aliens landing on Earth? That's what it is. That is what it is. That's what it is. Oh, that's kind of cool. So he's really an alien. He's like, like yeah. the first human. It was yeah. like a civilization before us, kind of, yeah. like an ancient aliens kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's like a person. Lands here and and hits the hits up the dinosaurs. So that that's what it is. The trailer gives it away, which I do think is cool. But I take issue with the trailer because I don't think they should have given that away. Mm. That's the whole movie. Like, mm. this is a trailer that literally gives away the whole twist of the movie. Do they give that away? In the trailer, 100%. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, well, where else are there dinosaurs? Just another planet. Not even that. It says, it says it says something years. about landing on our Earth, like in the title trailer thing. And then they yeah, go but the 60- thing is, I, here's what could be confusing. Is it someone from the future going back in time to Earth? Someone from Earth of the future of like 2300. We'll find that. We'll find that, that out. We'll find that out. I hope it's out. not that. Yeah, I that think sucks. they, listen, they gave away too much in the trailer. Yeah. They gave away way too much. And then they even said, oh, well, they go 65 million years ago. That's what it says in the trailer, which is why the movie's called 65, which, yeah. by the way, let the movie be called 65, but don't give away that the story's about a, human from 65 million years ago who lands on earth so then here's here's the question they shouldn't have given all of that away they just completely gave away the whole movie so then let, let's spin off into another unless question. unless there's some incredible twist that we still don't see coming Check and they that. felt and they felt they could give that away but why I, it's the fear where does it i mean i have i feel like i know but let me ask you it's like trailers 
right? How much should they give away? Now trailers have to sell something. And if your biggest selling point is not being advertised, you fear making no, no money. No, no, no. Look, right? They had me. That's the hook. Listen, listen, first off, they had me on Sam Raimi space, Adam driver, the top of that trailer. I'm watching this and I'm like, this looks cool. I'm like, this I looks know, cool. But you're a different kind hold of, on, hold on a second. Hold on. Then, then, then it crashes. Then they have, they further had me when you see this like weird tail thing in the water. Right. And he's like there and you can't see behind. Do the Jaws thing. Don't show me the freaking dinosaur right away. You can show claws and tails and ah. Maybe and then they my, were afraid. And then I'm like, oh, cool. This is cool. I, there's some weird creature on this planet. Got it. Maybe but no, they, they felt the need to be like, no, it's dinosaurs. And not only is it dinosaurs, but he's landing on Earth. Like they make all of that. They clarify all of that in the trailer. And even if you got to say like, oh, okay, even if you got to show the dinosaurs and like show them for whatever reason, you're really worried, you need to sell tickets, you have to see the dinosaurs, the studio's like, we got to see those freaking dinosaurs in this trailer. Fine, show them. Don't tell me that it's Earth. Maybe it's another weird planet with dinosaur things. You're right on that. That You're right on that. So that's, 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 that's for sure. Yeah, that's now, smart. They now I'm fight. sure a team of people sat around having this exact conversation about this. And trip. you want to know what, you know, it's not just, yo, we need to sell the dinosaurs because I you know what it could have been. It could have been, they had um, a bunch of testings and the moment people saw was expecting one movie and then dinosaurs popped out. They could have found it like absurdly laughable. Right. They're like, why are dinosaurs in space? It could have been like, I thought this was an alien movie. Like, Oh, yeah, yeah. so yeah. maybe they're like, no, 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 no. We got to let people know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah, dinosaurs. yeah. 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 <laughs> So this is a this is a disaster in trailer. So they probably did yeah. one test screening and they're like, oh, this is not working. We got to show the dinosaurs, guys. And the writers are like, guys, we can't show the dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't tell them that it's we can't. It has no, to. Yes. No. And then the studio is like, the fucking test screening is not working. Show the dinosaurs. Come back with a new cut. They show the trailer. The audience is like, wait a second. So this is like snakes on a plane, like dinosaurs in space. Like that's the movie. Dinosaurs in space. And then the studio's like, all right, we got to tell them it's Earth. And the filmmaker's yeah. like, we cannot tell them that this is Earth. You're giving away the whole fucking thing. And the studio's like, the trailer's not testing. That's probably what happened. That's probably what this happened. It's a brutal battle. It's it. You have all to right. set expectations. All right. That's what happens. That's Hollywood, people. Have a great day. Thanks for coming out. Take care. Peace. Peace. Peace.